And I want to introduce to you Melanie Taveti. Today we're going to talk about all things branding because Melanie has a lot of background and information on this topic. How does one get started? What, does- what can somebody do to start to, to work on developing all of these elements of establishing their brand? First thing that I would do is honestly go through, um, go, essentially do a checklist. I, I have this in a download that I have on my website, but um, essentially you go right down and say, okay, events that have happened, significant events, good or bad, things that have shaped or molded you from your past all the way through your past, and what lessons have you learned from it? What were those things that, for me, I mentioned that I lost my job enough times. That was something that, um, and then there was one, the last time I, I lost my job was I got fired. Mm-hmm. That changed and shaped who I am right now. The, all of these experiences, and so I had to write the different things and I wrote that all down. So that's the first place where I would start understanding who you are. And then you can start going from there when it comes down to building your, your brand, like I say, I, I can go through more of the steps, but essentially you need to figure out who you are, what makes you different. You need to figure out where you're blocking, what is holding you back? What are the things that you um, don't believe you can get, can do or are not good at? Um, and then you can, you know, it's, it's understanding who you are first. And then once you've understand that, then we can start figuring out like what personality you, what personality type are you? And there's typically in um, personalities, you are a blend of three different ones because, and, and they show out and they can change. But so then, you know, it's starting to come out the personality. What values do you bring? What, like, you know, I keep saying the values, beliefs, missions, because that is something that people miss. And, but it, yet it's that true North of where you're going in your business. And if you don't know who you're, and then the next space is kind of like your target audience. If you don't know how you can serve them, it's gonna be really hard to then find a logo that matches what you're trying to do. Right. Um, so that's where it really comes down to that, the introspective, um, you know, like it could be the self-improvement books. I mean, like, if, if, if you, if it's not just on brand, it, it's also figuring out why you chose, like each job I went through, I had to figure out what I liked about it, what I didn't like, what job, what in my next job, what do I want different? It's the same thing with any client I take. There are some clients that are good. There are some clients that I go, hmm, don't want to work with that again. <laughs> we all have it. We all, oh, like, yeah. that's, that's the process of learning. And you can also go, okay, so if I don't like working with that person, what about that situation? It's not the person. We're all, you know, it's not the person. It's the situation that you didn't like. And so once you get that situation, you can then move on and say, okay, I don't want to be in that situation again. So do you need more, you know, processes? Do you need different tech? Do you need, you know, what, what do you need? to not be in that situation again? Or is it just this personality does not go with my personality? And so I need to vet the personalities for more. You know, that that there's all those little pieces um, that come into that bigger perspective. And um, like I say, everything to me comes back to who you are. Because honestly, who you are, there's only one of you. There's no one else out there like you. There's no one else that has the exact experience. There's no one, I mean, there's no one else who has the same interests. We are all similar and we have people who we like that, that, that we resonate with, but they're not exactly the same as us. So in the real world, there's no, there's no competition out there. Once you understand who you are and what you bring to the table, there's, there's, there's no one else out there. So you, you like, yes, you need to understand what's happening in your market space, market space so that you can stay on top of it. But yet, it, you know what you bring to the table. So um, utilize it. I mean, so many, one reason why I'm an entrepreneur, not a corporate career girl anymore, 
is because so many people, so many managers saw what I saw as a strength as something that was a weakness that I had to fix because it didn't align with what they wanted. The way that I articulated was not good enough for them. Mm 